Uh, our uh, next uh, speaker is Chi uh, 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 Fi. Uh, he's uh, uh, he's uh, from uh, he's a manager at Singapore Polytech, and he will talk about a virtual reality based uh, free fall life boat, uh, life boat training. So, uh, Mr. Chi, please. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share about our virtual reality based free fall level training. Today I'd like to share some background and objectives about our project, as well as some of the lessons that we learned from using the training with our students. At our Singapore Maritime Academy, we have Gravity David LIGO, which we use it to train our students and seafarers to be proficient in the launching and recovery of LIGO. We also like to give our students opportunity to experience in the launching and recovery of the free fall LIGO. On board vessels, launching and recovery of free fall LIGO is considered high risk activities. There's been many cases reported that some crew members get injured during the operations, and in some cases, it will result in fatality. The accident will be avoided if crews are competent and familiar with the operations. Due to this risk involved in the process, in some cases, some of the vessels are not conducting regular launching drills as required by the regulations that resulted in non-conformity during the inspection and audit. Virtual reality provides an immersive environment that is safe and close to the real world environment. We'd like to create this environment for our students to get familiar with the procedures involved in the launching and recovery process. By going through the process repeatedly, they will get familiar with the operations. That will help them in building confidence in the actual operations of the light bulb. At our Singapore Polytechnic, we have Center of Excellence in Maritime Safety, CMS in short. From CMS, we have VR developers, 3D artists, and together with the maritime domain experts, we develop this training package. Allow me to share with a short video clip on how the training is conducted during the sessions. Once the training started, you will be at the application deck. The training is required to remove the lashing of the live boat Remove the charging cables to prepare for the LIBOR for boarding. You may notice a small window pop up throughout to give guidance to the trainee. This gives a cue to the trainee what is he supposed to do in each step. This guided window can be turned off during the assessment mode. Once everything is clear, we will allow the crew to be seated inside the LIBOR. The trainee will then close the door, and he is also required to make sure that all the crews inside LIGO are wearing safety belt. Once complete with the checking and inspection, he will be seated at the counseling seat, fasten seat belt, keep the steering to make sure, start the power switch on, and we'll start the LIGO engine. Remove the safety pin from the hydraulic jack and started cranking the jack to initiate the launching process. VR simulation of launching a free fall level provides the alternative platform for the trainee to have an immersive experience. 
we have developed both the launching and recovery process in our training package. Student can practice multiple times in a short time frame so that they will be familiar with the steps involved in the launching and recovery process. In the traditional classroom training, students will learn these by watching video or looking at the PowerPoint and explanation from the instructors. With the use of these simulations, students can experience the process as well as able to perform the process by himself. This is especially useful for the new crew and our students who have never been going through shipboard training yet. Watching video and PowerPoint will not give them this kind of learning experience. Having said all those benefits, we also face some of the challenges used in the training. One of the things is that we are not able to give some form of touch and feel in the operation. Usually most of the actions that we execute are able to perform by the trigger of the controller. And the other thing is that in a setting of class with 10 to 20 students, giving each and every student instruction before the start of the operation is a tedious and time consuming process. However, once the student get used to with the equipment, subsequently they are able to use the training without assistance from the trainer. Moving ahead, we will be developing more scenarios and currently we are developing with the terminal operator on the safe mooring operation using the VR. Our current VR setup is using the HTC Vive that require powerful PC as well as fixed mounted sensors to track the movement. We would like to explore use of the VR headsets that does not require PC and fixed mounting sensors. We will be trying out using the headset like Metaverse 2 that does not require PC. We also like to be looking in the area of developing mixed reality training that will be able to address some of the issues about the touch and feel in the operation. With that, I will end my presentation and I'm happy to answer if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Shi uh, cannot be with us uh, at the moment, so uh, we cannot have a question, uh, question and answer session. So uh, with that, uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that he will be happy to uh, have any questions uh, through email.